hello everyone welcome to my channel bot new tutorials in this session i would like to explain another family that is asteraceae this family is also known as compositae this is the alternative name of asteraceae family aster is the type genus of this family so that it is named as asteraceae I understand aster is the type study of this family that's why it is named as asteraceae asteraceae is the largest family in flowering plants this is second largest family in angiosperms first largest family is graminae that is also known as poaceae poaceae is the first largest family most of the flowering plants are present in poaceae next to that asteraceae is the largest flowering uh, plants containing family in this about 10 percentage of flowering plants are present okay next coming to classification classification class dicotyledons subclass gamopetale series inferae order asterales family asteraceae before watching my video subscribe my channel and click on bell icon if you like my video share to all your friends and uh, comment in the comment section okay next important plants belongs to asteraceae they are number one acanthospermum hispidum in telugu it is known as kukamulla chettu Next one is Artemisia vulgare. It is known as Machipatri. Next plant is Carthamus tinctorius. It is known as Kusuma. Next one is Chrysanthemum indicum, Chamanthi. Next plant is Dahlia pinnata. It is known as Dahlia. Next one Echinops echinatus, Mullabanthi. Next one Eclipta prostrata, Brungraj, Helianthus annuus, Sunflower, Lactuca sativa, Kaukura, Parthenium hysterophorus, Congress grass, Tridax procumbens, Gadichamanthi, Vernonia cinerea, Sahadevi or Giritakamma. Next, coming to habitat and habit. In the first one is habitat. Most of the plants belongs to this family are mesophytes. Most of them are mesophytes. Rarely xerophytes are present in this family. Example, echinops. This is echinops plant. In Telugu, it is known as mullabanti. Next, habit. Coming to habit, herbs, shrubs, trees are present in this family. Examples for herbs are Tridax procumbens, Lactuca and Dahlia pinnata. This is Tridax procumbens. It comes under herbs. Lactuca sativa, Dahlia pinnata. Those are also examples for herbs. Next, shrubs. In shrubs, Inula sinecio. Inula sinecio are herbs. Sorry, shrubs. Rarely trees are present in this family. They are uh, Vernonia arborea. This is Vernonia arborea plant. Vernonia arborea plant. Leucomeris is also a tree that is uh, present in this family. Next one, root system. Root is generally tap root system. Sometimes this root is modified into tubers. That means tuberous roots are found in dahlia pinnata this is dahlia plant in this plant roots are modified to form tubers they store food materials and they increase in their size the bu they bulge in their size okay next in the vegetative characters next one is stem stem is generally aerial or subaerial aerial that is exposed to external environment Subaerial. Subaerial stem is seen in Chrysanthemum indicum. 
chrysanthemum indicum otherwise stem may be underground underground stem is found in helianthus tuberosum stem is modified to form tubers so that stem is underground stem may be erect or prostrate erect means that grows straight like this that grows straight prostrate that grows on uh, that grows horizontally on the substratum then it is called prostrate next herbaceous or woody stem woody stem is found in artemisia hairs are found on the stem so that it is called hairy sometimes with latex latex is also present in the stem stem tubers are also present in helianthus just now i discussed uh, underground stem is found in helianthus tuberosum in that tubers are formed that is underground stem next these tubers are edible next stem is cylindrical sometimes it may be glabrous in some plants hairs are absent on the surface of surface stem may be solid or fistular stem may be leaf like in baccaris in baccaris stem is leaf like next one next vegetative character leaf leaves are alternate rarely opposite these are alternate leaves one leaf is here on the next node another leaf is here alternate otherwise opposite opposite leaves are found in ginia and dahlia sometimes old leaves are also present old philotaxy is also found in some plants leaves may be radical that means they are developed on roots next leaves are petiolate or sessile if the petiole is present then it is called petiolate here uh, observe in the diagram here petiole is present then it is called petiolate in some plant petiole is absent so that they are called sessile leaves next stipulate stipules are absent mostly simple sometimes scale like sometimes scale like that is found in senecio unicastate or multicastate reticulate venation this is about vegetative characters of asteraceae family in the next video i will explain floral characters thank you for watching my video